Good morning, Mr. Gruber. <laughs> nice catch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Mm, nothing broken. Now, there is a very interesting story behind this. I'm sorry, Mr. Gruber, but I'm going to have to do something frightfully rude. I'm going to have to interrupt you. I'm in rather a rush, and I really need a stamp to put on this letter for Aunt Lucy. Do you have one? Of course. Take one from my desk. Perhaps I'll take this dusty old one, so Mr. Gruber can keep his shiny new ones. There. Mr. Gruber? Ah, Paddington. When you were at my desk, uh, you didn't see a small black stamp. Oh, yes, I did, Mr. Gruber. Oh, good. Where is it? Well, hopefully it's on its way to Peru. Oh, no. I think you took the wrong stamp. Did I? I was sure to take an old one, so you could keep the shiny new ones. It was very old indeed. A very valuable antique. And my favourite. No, Mr. Gruber. I promise. I will get the stamp back for you. There's nothing for it. <laughs> There were quite a few letters down there, Aunt Lucy. But only one was sticky with marmalade. Got it! Ah. Hmm? Is that Paddington? Paddington? Oh, oh, thank goodness you found me. I was getting rather worried. How on earth did you end up like this? It's a long story. I put Mr. Gruber's antique stamp on my letter by mistake. But I got stuck trying to get it back. That's the whole story. Oh, not that long after all. You could let go of the letter and wait for the postie to come. OK, Judy, I'm letting go. One last... <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you OK? I rather banged my knee, actually. I meant Paddington. Yes, just a bit of a sore arm. Oh, no! The postman! Oh. Oh. oh! She's taken my letter! Stop! Wait! So, Aunt Lucy, I was going to ask, if it's not too much bother, could you please send back the stamp from my last letter? Because it would mean so much to Mr. Gruber. And I promise to give it back. And like you always said, I promise is a promise. Love from Paddington. <laughs> <laughs>